The heart is its own language. It's a silent language of devotion, compassion, kindness and trust. In our yoga practice we have many, many practices to work with this energy center, the space of the heart, and so I usually teach these over a few classes or workshops. Our yogic practices help us in opening to our spiritual vision through the silent language of the heart. And through dedication to our yoga practice we open, activate and accelerate our spiritual vision so we can work with the divine in our lives. So essentially what this means is learning to recognize our signs, symbols and messages from the universe about existence flowing through our lives. Most of these are silent, non-verbal communications from the Divine and the Divine Mother. Then through dedication to our practice we turn intuitions, feelings, fleeting inspirations into enduring behavior supported by values and meaning. This is what we are doing right now in our evolution, bringing all the wisdom from our ancient practice together so that we can aspire to the highest creative values for the future. The language of the heart is silent. We call it the unstruck sound in the heart chakra. And the essence of all that is, is in the heart center. The essence of divinity within you. So, you are what you are not what you do. In yoga we know what we are made of, through experience of the koshas, our subtle bodies, which surround the germ of the self. And we say, I am that I am. In silence and self-awareness for clearer, deeper self-knowledge. I usually start my teaching by introducing the meditator to the inner relaxation process, so we can start on inner listening. We have heart chakra meditation practice with a right ear heart and mudra to subtly and powerfully direct prana to the space of the heart. And bringing together pranayama and breath awareness in the soham meditation which means I am that, that I am. When the heart chakra is opened and activated, communicating in its silent language and your inner world of the self, then we understand how it talks to our other chakras especially Guru Chakra, the center of our wisdom.